Hi, Bill is here, southernfrugal.com, and this is my new top. <laughs> I made it out of uh, the little bathing suit wrap. I think y'all saw that material. Anyway, I love it. It's real comfortable and it's real cool. And today we're going to go to Aldi's and Walmart, and it's supposed to be 103 degrees. So <laughs> we'll see y'all there. All right, y'all, we are getting ready to go to Aldi's and Walmart. There's a picture of the car we bought, or Mr. Bucky bought. We actually traded in the town car, which kind of made me cry. But anyway, I've learned to drive it, and uh, we mainly, well, it kind of goes with the RV a little bit. But anyway, it's the first time we bought a foreign car ever, so there it is. All right, we will see y'all at Walmart. Hi, I wanted to go ahead and uh, record a little bit about the car before we get going. Yeah. All right, so yesterday it was 103 degrees, y'all, and today it's supposed to be 100 or better. So I figured I better get on to uh, grocery shopping early. It's about probably quarter to eight right now. Anyway, so uh, Mr. Bucky traded my town car y'all and I cried a little bit because that car is so comfortable and um, I don't know we've had it for so long you know how that goes anyway so he decided to get a Kia and uh, this guy he got a great deal he really did and uh, so I just kind of sat there and listened at the car dealership he does all the bargaining I'll call it yeah so anyway, he even got uh, $400 uh, from Kia because he is a, a veteran. Who knew, right? So they actually just send you a check for that. So all he had to do was submit his discharge papers, DD214, because to start with, he gave them the wrong discharge papers. So we had to come home and get the right ones, and so now... Uh, we get $400 from Kia and we also got a uh, 0% interest and they gave us a pretty good price on the town car and let's see what else oh always buy a car the last day of the month now uh, Mr. Bucky's friend from years ago told him that because all the salesmen are trying to meet their quota and the sales manager wants everybody to meet their quota too so you get a much better deal so pretty much every time that I can ever remember we bought a car it's always the last day of the month so and preferably in the afternoon okay so uh, anyway that way they uh, you know they want to make the deal and uh, I, I usually get a headache if I go with Mr. Bucky because he does so much wheeling and dealing and it just gives me a headache y'all so but this time I didn't get a headache and we ended up getting the car and uh, the first thing I did he wanted me to see if I could drive it you know didn't have any problem with it. it's got a lot of electronics on it for a little rinky dink car and uh, so I don't want to have to read the instruction booklet. Uh, Mr. Bucky hopefully will tell me what to do. Okay. All right. So we, we probably won't see y'all in Walmart because I don't think of anything special we're doing in there. But we will see you in Aldi. All right. We'll be back. Hi. We're in Walmart now. Several of y'all had asked me about the uh, type of sewing machine that I have. It's called a Brother. And we're in Walmart, so I wanted to show y'all. Uh, this is very similar to the one I have, uh, just a newer model. Right there. $69. And the dial is exactly the same as mine. Um, I guess this is the reverse, which is in a different place on mine. It's up here. But anyway, this is a brother, and I would have to say it's a very good machine. I've had all kinds, and I, to me, uh, the, mine is called a Hobby, uh, 
hobby machine. I guess for people who do hobbies, I don't know. Anyway, uh, even the uh, box is very similar to the one I have. Anyway, I paid 59 for mine and that one's 69. And they've got a singer in here for 99. I would not get that one. Another brother for 80, 88. Right there. Got a few more bells and whistles on it. And then yet another one. And that one is 129. And that's got a whole bunch of other stitches on it. And then this one is 199. So my guess is all of them have the same motor on the brother except for that singer. I don't know what that's doing in the middle of everything, but anyway, there's the one I got and I'm just guessing that the motor is exactly the same on this one, this one, this one, and this one. They just have a lot of different functions, which I don't really sew that much, but who needs all that stuff? Anyway, there it is for all y'all that ask, and I'm sure you can get this online, and probably you might even be able to get it cheaper through Amazon. I'm not sure about that, but anyway, there it is. All right, we'll see y'all in a little while. Okay, we just finished up in uh, Walmart, and by the way, I love the car, this Kia, for the groceries, because look, can y'all see in the back? I got all my groceries back in the back. Eat much easier than loading them in the trunk of the town car. And I suspect much easier getting them out. Anyway, this little car has got a massive air conditioner on it. Um, let's see, outside right now it's 81 degrees and it's only a little after 9 o'clock. So we're probably definitely going to reach that 100 mark and more today. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, and my little top that I made out of the rayon is super cool. I love it too, and I just love this little Kia. I don't. I thought I wouldn't like the black interior because you know we're in the South, okay, and the sun baking in, and you know you open the car door and everything's really hot, but not with this one. And the reason I'm sure is because it's got these tinted windows all the way around. Even the windshield is slightly tinted. So I think that really makes a difference. I really miss my town car, y'all, because it drives like a dream. And uh, this little boy waving at me out there. Hey, he's looking at the little car. Probably looks like a toy to him. Uh, anyway, all right, so we're gonna go on to uh, Aldi now. All right, we'll see y'all in a minute. All right, we are in Aldi's now. And this is the uh, Choice Beef Boneless Country Style Ribs. They are delicious, I can tell you. I bought those, I bought those twice now, so I'm gonna get a couple of packs of them and uh, go ahead and freeze them. And the other thing I was looking at are the uh, pork spare ribs. Now last time I was in here, I got the baby, uh, baby back ribs, but I don't see any this time. Hmm. Anyway, this is what we're going to get, the country style ribs. They did really well in that instant pot, really super well in fact. Okay, yeah, they were really very, very delicious. So we're going to get two packs of them and already got a bunch of vegetables, tomatoes. All of this is cheaper in here than it is in uh, Walmart. So I got squash, I've got uh, broccoli, uh, broccoli crowns, two of them. And of course I can get the mushrooms here for pizza because they're much cheaper and the tomatoes are cheaper. And the lettuce is cheaper and the green bell pepper are cheaper. And at this time I got a, uh, I forget what you call those. Hmm. Anyway, it's like a cantaloupe, only it's green on the inside. Y'all know. All right. All right, we will see y'all in a few minutes. All right, this is the uh, uh, 
salad dressing in Aldi. Of course, it's their brand. We've tried that Italian. It's very good. The ranch is very good. Haven't tried the balsamic vinegar. But anyway, there are the prices. Right there. Yeah, $1.29. Much cheaper than in Walmart, as best I can remember. I've definitely tried the uh, French style. And there was another one that was Russian. It was very, very good. Yeah. So that these are fit active. I guess that'll, that's lower calories. Still $1.29. All right, y'all. We will see you back home. All right, we're gonna get some of this corn. I just checked it out. And we're gonna make some succotash out of this. So I don't like much corn in the succotash. So I'm only gonna get like two ears. I've already checked them out. All right, see you in a minute. All right, we are back home now. And I'll have to tell you, I really like this little Kia. I don't know how to work a lot of stuff on it. So Mr. Bucky's got to read the book and tell me how everything works. Uh, so it's about uh, 1022 now and the temperature outside is already 88 degrees. See that right there? I got me a little plastic carrying case for that uh, sewing machine. It was $22, but I need it. I've been storing it in the box it came in, so I got, a, got one for $22. I thought that was all right. But anyway, let me show you the inside of the car. All right, so there's tells the miles. We went to church and a couple of other places. Anyway, this is my first time of actually doing, getting groceries using the car. And this I particularly like. So as long as you've got your phone in the car, I think they call that Bluetooth something or other. And uh, so I can just push, as long as my phone's in the car and it's on, I can just push the button and tell it who to call. Like if I wanted to call Mr. Bucky, I would just say, call Bucky, and it would call and when I get ready to hang up, so it's definitely hands-free. And I'll have to say, this air conditioner is fantastic. It really is. I also like that it shows what day of the week it is the date and the time up here and uh, the steering wheel's little of course it's got cruise control and I don't know what that is well I guess that's the radio or what is Sirius radio or something I don't know one of the things I keep doing done it twice now is I'm so used to driving the town car see this little thing right here it's almost as big as a gear shift and so instead of using this one I pull this down for reverse and it turns the windshield wipers on so I've definitely got to get used to that anyway it's got the little bucket seats can y'all see and of course the gear shift is there and then there's something about if you want a manual gear shift you push this button right here in and pull it over and you can be in regular uh, gear shift rather than in these th I don't know what that means but anyway let me get out and show you what it looks like again because I think I just showed the side of it a while ago anyway I was real concerned about the black interior and we looked at several and one of them uh, had a tan interior but I didn't like the car and since I'm going to be mostly driving it we just went ahead and took a chance on the black interior but I can tell you that it's fine. I was really concerned because we had a navy blue car one time and it was always so hot on the inside when you first got in. But anyway, all right, let me get out and show y'all what it looks like from the front. Okay, there it is from the front. I think it's a cute little car and it almost matches the uh, uh, RV. And I think Mr. Bucky's got mine pulling it on a dolly two wheels up and it can be pulled that way. We could have gotten a straight gear, but I didn't want to since I'm going to be going around town so much. Anyway, that's what it looks like. It's a cute little car and I do like it. And I especially like that it holds all the groceries in the back 
without me putting down the seats. I, it really holds more than the town car does. Also, see the little key for the town car, the little key to open the doors and all and whatever is $90. I can get the battery replaced in this one at, for $10, which is quite a, a difference. And this is, of course, one of those electronic keys. Let me push that button. I don't know how to do that. There. And uh, it's an electronic type key. Different. Anyway, we'll see y'all next time. Bye for now.